Update reporting from Bloomberg.com. Disney, the world's largest entertainment company, outlined plans Tuesday to sell some of its premier content directly to consumers online starting next year. It'll offer live sports and animated films, including Toy Story 4, sidestepping partners from Netflix Inc. to pay TV providers like Comcast and DirecTV. The need for Disney to act was underscored by the company's fiscal third quarter financial results, which were also announced Tuesday and helped send shares tumbling as much as 6.1% on Wednesday, the most since February 2016. Sales and profit fell because of the weakness in the company's big cable TV division, especially ESPN, where subscribers and ad sales shrank. Still, Iger's decision shocked investors, sending shares of both Disney and Netflix lower in late trading. Disney's plans include a new online ESPN service, and in 2019, the company will launch a Disney video service featuring live-action films, Disney Channel TV shows, and Pixar movies. In the process, the Burbank, California-based company says it's ending a deal to offer its newest films online through Netflix, the video streaming pioneer. That will stop in 2019. Consumers, Iger said, are moving rapidly online, and Disney needs to move with them. What you really see with this is, I think, a brilliant move by Disney. I've been very excited for them to jump out of looking at other people controlling their own media and themselves actually going in and making a streaming service. What I see the best benefit of Disney actually having their own streaming service is that we finally will get a collection, hopefully, of all of the animated content that we want to see from the 80s, from the 90s, just a massive collection of all of these shows that we haven't seen for a while, possibly, right? And it doesn't really outline too much except for the fact that there will be many uh, different shows from Disney Channel, there will be live action shows, so you'll have Marvel and you'll have Pirates of the Caribbean and you'll have Star Wars and all these things. By 2019, I think Indiana Jones will be out, so you'll have that as well. Disney's trying to become that force to be reckoned with in the world, and I think that this will obviously separate them uh, and make them even stronger. But what, again, I see for an animation perspective here is you're going to get those movies way earlier. You're going to get the TV shows that you want, hopefully, from throwbacks, but you're also going to get the new content as well. And I am really excited to see how they move this stuff into the future. You know, Disney's making moves, and it looks very exciting. So... Anyway, guys, what do you think about this? Disney's upcoming streaming service coming in 2019. Uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'm Brian Swan, and as always, stay tuned for more.